Oh, Jesus. Chaos. Happy Homer Wednesday, nerds. Check that action out. The red glow of a dragon fruit, passion fruit Berliner. Uh, probably floor device is more um, accurate. Um, this is passion fruit, dragon fruit, and a dry hop of experimental grapefruit hops. Um, just two ounce dry hop. I honestly don't know if it comes through because there's so much passion fruit in this thing. It looks the part, I think. It tastes passion fruity. Definitely a learning experience. Um, I used a lot of dragon fruit, as you can see by the glowing red. Um, I wonder if, I wonder how it's going to come through when this video actually renders. Um, it looks way more orange on my phone than it does in, uh, in, in real life. But here's the deal with the dragon fruit. It's not a super strong flavor, but it looks awesome. Um, I used, I think the technical term is a metric fuck ton. Um, and I think I used too much actually because it, it's a little dragon fruit kind of tastes a little squashy maybe and i get a little bit of that in this beer um but the passion fruit really comes through i put quite a lot of passion fruit in it too um i used one of the four ounce things of amaretti passion fruit that i had kicking around from um one of the sample things those guys sent me and then i also tracked down some passion fruit puree um, on Amazon that uh, really took this thing to to the next place in line. I don't know that it's the next level, but it's something good. Um, I think this still needs to clear out a little bit. There's a little bit of particulate. This is the first actual glass poured out of that keg, so um, you're kind of getting the live reaction. I'm going to spill that part on the table. Um, that's an Alex Rock patented move right there Alex I'll send you the royalty check all in all though I think I dig this beer quite a bit um, it's not crazy crazy fruity except when you burp that's pleasant but damn if it doesn't look nice um, maybe not the kind of beer you're gonna take to a tailgate or somewhere where you gotta do man things but um, Perhaps for Valentine's Day, uh, it's going to be okay. So, that's it. That is the crazy beer, Mike, that you've been waiting for. It's not exactly the fest beer that was right up your alley. Um, this is a beer that a year ago you would have ran away screaming from. Now I'm pretty sure you might be intrigued by this one. Um, so what's going on in my life? I, uh, I just got home from brewing a big hazy citra new england ipa um at an actual brewery like a seven barrel batch that we actually brew three and a half barrels and they're gonna brew three and a half barrels again tomorrow to make a seven barrel batch which is pretty rad so maybe when that one comes out uh at the brewery i'll grab a crawler of it and do a little a little video review um pretty pretty excited about the way it's going to come out um we did like eight pounds of hops in the whirlpool um for a three and a half barrel batch it's that's that's getting there that's decent that's uh almost a pound and a half per per uh, barrel actually wait a minute if i do my math correctly that's nowhere near right rewind redo the math it's a lot of fucking hops um there was like a five or six inch layer of of uh hops at the bottom of the uh the whirlpool after we transferred off um 
that's a double thumbs up move. Um, more than doubled the the amount of hops, like the most amount of hops that Mike had ever used in a beer. Someone's a good influence. So, um, yeah, I'll be excited for when that one comes out. Uh, trying to think of a good name for it. Um, I suggested Hayesbraham Lincoln or Hayesbraham Lincoln Bro, but for some reason they didn't think people would be able to read that. So um, we'll see what it ends up being called. Uh, but fun stuff. Not going to make it any easier going to work tomorrow, though. Um, but hmm, what are you going to do? Um, anyway, that's about all I've got. I have some yeast spinning over there that I've had spinning. Because I think I said last time I was going to do this Amarillo IPL. Well, you know, it was fucking cold all weekend. Um, so it didn't get done. So, I have, uh, I'm just going to let the starter basically finish out. I'll crash it. And uh, if nothing else, I can do a little kind of a vitality kickstart on it. Uh, if I can manage to brew Saturday morning, maybe I'll uh, just pull it back out of the fridge and pull a little bit of the wort, you know, out of the first part of the boil and water it back to cool it down and, and uh, drop the gravity down to 1040 or something and just spin it for a little while and anger it back up. So... I've had pretty good luck with, with doing that. Um, works really well with dry yeast, too. It's kind of a... I don't know what it is. It's something I've been playing with, and it seems to work, so... Anyway, I'm taking my pink Valentine's beer, and uh, I'm going to go watch the Olympics. I'm going to watch some skiing and maybe some snowboarding. And, uh, yeah, I like the Olympics. It's good shit, so... Anyway, nerds, cheers. That's all right. It's not bad. Ah, Yandu kids, happy Valentine's Day. I love you all. I love your faces.